Church. My name is Linda Adam. Uh, you usually find me at Manchester Central location. And today I want you to think about all those people who have come in and out of your lives, the relationships you've had. I don't know about you, but I'm very grateful for every single one of them. I'm grateful that I was born into a Christian family. My dad ran a very small mission church in a local village. Uh, we went there three times every Sunday and they introduced me to the foundational beliefs of the Christian faith. I'm also grateful for sitting next to Mr. Gilliard every Sunday morning. Um, he, um, <laughs> he was quite old as far as I was concerned. I was only six at the time and I thought, oh, he's very old. He probably was about 35, but, um, but I thought he was old. But uh, he used to ring the church bell calling people to worship and as they came in he would hand them a hymn book and a prayer book. So he taught me the passion for the church and for faithfulness in serving on team. Uh, I'm also grateful for the vicar and his wife who ran our youth, um, our youth club. They taught me how to care for others and value them and they taught me how to bake, which is always a good thing. Um, I'm grateful for my wonderful, kind husband who loved me so much that he could teach me that I didn't know everything. Uh, I'm grateful for my church members at the time who comforted us and encouraged us when my husband passed away suddenly and looked after uh, my sons and myself. They taught me how to empathise um, and how to care for people and lots of other things as well. Um, I'm grateful to my sons, loving, encouraging, always teaching me to have fun, introducing me to Star Trek films. Whether that's bad or good, I don't know. <laughs> I'm grateful to my pastors who have lovingly and, um, and uh, uh, t faithfully taught me the word of God. Um, they've taught me to um, love who I am but not to settle there. I'm grateful to my dear friend, friend Janet Dring. She's taught me about long-standing support, encouragement, faithfulness, strong faith in God, even under extremely difficult circumstances, and simple summer holidays in the UK, eating beetroot sandwiches. Yum. Try them. <laughs> I'm also grateful to my beautiful friends, Anne and Dave who taught me that a simple ham sandwich can taste like lobster thermidor if it's eaten with great people. So I'm thankful for those. But what about those people, those relationships that have not been amicable? What about my father who hit me if I didn't do uh, what he wanted? I was quite a difficult teenager to parent, but what about him? And what about the close family member who cut me off from the family for years and years and years. What about the Christian friend who condemned and criticised me when I confessed something personal to them? What about all those? So here's my verse for today. and I usually skip over it or groan when I read it and it's from James chapter 1 and I'll read it from the Passion Translation and it says this, my fellow believers when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up in you the power of endurance. And then as your endurance, grow, endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. I love that. I want to have nothing missing and nothing lacking. So I found that consistently my spiritual growth has been strengthened, my trust in God has deepened, my heart has softened when I face nothing but difficulties. How about you? We probably don't like these times, we wouldn't ask for them, but God knows. And God uh, allows them and makes us more like our Saviour through them and because of them. So let me pray for us. Papa, thank you 
that you shape us and mould us into who you want us to be. Help us to see in our difficult relationships and circumstances an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that we can. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, thank you, Audacious Church. God bless you. Have a great day. And um, yeah, keep on keeping on. Love you loads. Bye.